welcome to the channel time to fire it up and I got my morning coffee all right so one of my last videos was a unitronic tune Volkswagen Jetta review so basically I wanted to move on with that one and then answer the question should you get an ECU tune I'm gonna assume that most of you guys know what an ECU tune is at this point it's just something that you buy that modifies how your engine runs gives you more power apparently sometimes more fuel economy with sacrifice of maybe a little bit of reliability things get a little bit more expensive all right so the answer to whether you should get a ECU tune or not kind of depends on you um, I hate giving that answer but it depends on what you want um, and basically whether or not you'd be happy with it so there's three different types of ECU tunes, the, the main three at least. You've got your standalone ECU, like this performance electronics system. The standalone ECU gives you complete control over your tune. I mean, you decide everything, every single factor, you're the one that programs it. So you have to usually use a dyno to get the results that you want, so it's a little bit more of an expensive process. But I mean, it's like the ideal tune for everything that you want because you're in control of it. The next tune is going to be a software flash tune. Companies like APR and Unitronic make these. They're specific to German cars. But what a flash tune is, is it's something that has already been pre-researched for you by a company. They use engine diagnostic software. They modify the stock software to make it run with more power. Those you just buy and you usually flash through your OBD2 port or you can bring it to one of their authorized dealers that they have and they can flash it on there for you. Those ones are good if you don't feel like using a dyno, it's a little bit cheaper of an option. You just usually have to end up running 93 octane. Uh, they, they toy around with the ignition timing a little bit. And the last option is gonna be piggyback modules. I mentioned that in my last video. Those basically will hook up to your boost sensor, mass airflow sensor, and other sensors, intercept the real signal, and then they modify it and feed it to your ECU so that your ECU thinks everything is okay. Personally, I think this is kind of risky because your ECU doesn't truly know what's going on. If your turbo is over boosting, the, uh, the module might say everything's okay and all of a sudden you're out of a turbo. So personally, I don't like that option but it could be right for some people because it's the cheapest one. And it's the cheapest for a reason. It's the highest risk, I would think. Now to answer the question, should you get an ECU tune? I would say the answer is most likely no. If you don't really take care of your car, you don't wanna raise the expenses that come with it, like premium gas, uh, increasing your service interval, stuff like that. It, it does get a little bit more expensive whenever you get more of a fun car. You're basically turning your regular car into a performance car. So there's more expenses that come with that. Also, if you don't take care of your car, the reliability is gonna get shot by a tune. I mean, it'll accelerate the process of how quickly your car deteriorates. Um, so you gotta be mindful of that. So now if you're on the opposite end of the spectrum, you don't really care about putting a little bit more money into your car. Um, it, might be, it might be a little bit more expensive. You know how to take care of it. You let your car warm up. You don't miss your service intervals then I would say go ahead and go for the tune. I mean, you're really going to enjoy it. I mean, it makes the car way more fun. It's just something about it. It doesn't even have to be the power. A lot of it's just the feeling of a performance tune is just geared around the driver. They want every little touch of the pedal to be more fun than it is at stock. And they actually succeed at that really well. Uh, the difference I've noticed from stock is that the throttle response makes a huge difference. As soon as you put your pedal down, you're going, like you're going fast. The turbo spools up way more quickly than it does at stock. I mean, everything is just a little bit more fun with a performance tune. But again, you gotta take care of your car. 